Hey everybody, Shabo here, back for another video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a walk animation in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make your animation. For this, I'm going to be using Moon Animator. If you don't have Moon Animator already, you're going to want to go to View, Enable the Toolbox, go to Marketplace, and then pub Plugins. And then for me, it's the top one. If it's not, you can just search the name of it, Moon Animator 2, and install it and then restart studio. Next, after you got a moon animator, you're going to want to go to plugins at the top, go to character inserter. I'm just going to put a preset here. And then you're going to want to select it by clicking on it. And then open moon animator. And then click new rig animation. Now you should be able to animate it. You can move the limbs around and stuff. And then you can change the time, then move some more stuff. And then you can animate like that. So I'm going to make an animation real quick. You can, also, you can also change the animation settings, like the name and stuff, by going to File file settings, then changing it here. And if you're doing a walking animation, you want to change this priority priority to movement instead of action. Then once you've made your walking animation, you want to make sure it's looping. You can click this, make sure it looks like that. And it'll loop. And then now we're going to export our animation so go to File, Export Rigs, and then you should have this selected automatically in Explorer. If you don't have Explorer open, you go to View, and then open Explorer. And then you're going to right-click the thing that's selected, Save to Roblox, and then you're going to want to name it. I'm going to keep it as Walk, and then you can change the description if you want. Then you're going to want to submit, and this is important, you're going to want to get the ID by clicking this right here, make sure it says ID copied, and then you can close it. Now you can close Moon Animator, I'm just going to do save and close, and then exit it like that, and now your animation is done. Next, we're going to make the animation go onto the character. So we're going to go to Starter Player and Explorer. Go to Starter Character Scripts inside of Starter Player. Right click it, Insert Object, and then a Local Script. This is the script we'll be using to play the walking animation. So now that you're inside of the script, we can delete this first line of code because we don't need that. And then now we're going to set up a few variables. So local character equals script.parent. Because what this does is if a script is inside of here, it'll automatically be inside the character when they join the game. And then we're going to get the humanoid from the character. So local humanoid equals character wait for child humanoid. This is going to wait for the humanoid to load in. And then animator, which is inside of the humanoid, equals humanoid wait for child animator. We're going to use the animator to animate things. And then next we're going to go back to Explorer. We're going to go to start, as, start our character scripts again. Insert another object. You just right click, insert object. Then now, this time we're going to insert an animation track. So search object and then type animation or you can find it. Should be right here under animations. Click that. We're going to select it then go to view, make sure properties is open, and then paste the animation ID into here. You can either right click and paste or press control V. If you don't have the ID, you can go to your inventory, 
on Roblox and go to your animations, you can find the ID again inside of the link. Next, we're going to load it because we need to load the animation in order to play it. So local walk anim, this is short for animation, equals animator, load animation, character, wait for child animation. You can also name the animation if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Next, we're going to make it play the animation whenever the character is moving. So humanoid.running connect function speed. So what, this is, so what this does is whenever the character changes its speed, it'll fire all the code in here. And this variable will be the speed that it's at right now. So if speed is greater than 0.1, we can't put 0 because maybe it'll just be like when it's not moving and it didn't change the speed for some reason. And we don't want the animation to be glitching. So if speed is greater than 0.1, if not, walk atom dot is playing. So if the animation is not playing, then we're going to play it. This is important because if it is playing, we don't want to repeat it over and over again as they change speed. So walk animation play. And then we're going to make another one. So an else statement. So if it's less than this, less than 0.1, then we're going to basically just copy this right here. Control C or right click and copy. Paste it here. Remove the not right here. So if it is playing, and then stop. So it'll stop the animation if it was playing. Next, we're going to make the animation change speed depending on how fast they're moving. We don't need an if statement for this one. Walk anim adjusts speed, speed divided by 16. So if they're moving at 16 steps per second, which is the default for characters, then it'll be playing at one speed. If they're going at a slower speed, it'll play slower and faster and it'll play faster. Now this should be done. So we can go here, go to home, and then press play. And the animation should be playing. As you can see, our animation is playing. And if you wanted to get rid of the default animation script, we're going to click stop here. Then you're going to want to rename the script to animate, because that's the default um, name of the other animation script the default one Roblox uses. So if you don't want that script in there, name this to animate and it won't load at all. So if we click play, we shouldn't see our animation, our idle animation this time because it's not loading anymore. You can also make jump animations with this. So if you had a jump animation, you would just copy this again, paste it, and then jump anim and then for example animation 2 and then for that you would do humanoid.state changed connect function old new we're going to be using the new one if new equals equals em.humanoidstate type dot jumping then if they jump all the code inside of here is going to run and since it's just them jumping we don't need to do any of the extra stuff we can just play the animation right there i don't have a jump animation to test this with but this will work if you have one and yeah that's how you make a walk animation in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.